It's over. It's time to fucking talk about Fanboy Friday. God damn it. It's not Friday. I know. Shut the fuck up. Doesn't matter. It's always Fanboy Friday. If you are an anti-LGBTQ Tennessee lieutenant governor like Governor Randy McNally. Ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, and MBs, it's time to talk about my favorite story of today. Anti-LGBT Tennessee Lieutenant Governor uh, Randy McNally uh, has been commenting on uh, Twink Thursday. He's been blasting. He's been blasting off on social media. Oh, he's Randy, all right. Oh, fuck yeah, he is. Tennessee is currently leading the nation in anti-LGBTQ hate with 26 anti-LGBTQ LGBTQ bills moving through the legislature. Last week, Governor Lee made national news for quickly signing a cruel trans youth health care ban and the nation's first drag show felony bill, which threatens the lockup drag performance. What made the bill even more absurd was the revelation that Governor Lee himself had dressed in drag on a school campus in front of minors back in 1977. Of course, it's not gay when he does it. Now, the, the transgender bill bans children's transgender therapy. That's on your desk. Uh, drag bill heads back to the Center for what a ridiculous ridiculous question that is conflating something like that to sexualized entertainment in front oh i'm sorry so this is not supposed to get me going because sir let me tell you something you look hot and drag okay this is the governor this is the governor this is the governor The governor of Tennessee did drag in high school. Okay. The governor of Tennessee did drag in high school. The lieutenant governor of Tennessee is literally horny posting on femboy Instagram pages. Drag which is a is very not, serious subject. Drag is not sexual. Andy, what you got? Do you remember it? Is this you? Andy. I'm just wondering if you're aware of any specific cases or I think the the concern is uh, what's right there in that class, in that building, um, children that are potentially exposed to sexualized entertainment, to obscenity, and we need to make sure that they're not. I think that's something that should happen in Tennessee, and it will because of this bill. Would you be okay with drag queens? Thank you all for your time today. Appreciate it, y'all. Is it okay if drag queens come to this school? Because this is you. Bro, they hit him with a this you, with the hardest this you of all time, okay? Is there any anti-LGBTQ politicians that hasn't been exposed as a massive hypocrite? Yeah. Well, it's not hypocritical if you consider it this way. Maybe they want to ban drag because they want to do it themselves, and they're jealous that, like, other people are doing it better than them. Have you thought about that? No. You don't think about anything. All you think about is wanting to do drag and being really good at doing drag. Meanwhile, you have the Tennessee governor who's like, I want to do drag myself, but unfortunately, everybody keeps making fun of me, saying, saying that I don't look as good. Anti-drag Tennessee Lieutenant Governor really loves this LGBTQ man's thirst traps. Tennessee Lieutenant Governor Randy McNally has joined the anti-LGBTQ plus wave sweeping the Republican Party on Instagram. However, he seems to be taking a different tone. As one of the top politicians in Deep Red Tennessee, Lieutenant Governor Randy McNally has joined the anti-LGBTQ wave sweeping the Republican Party with McNally as the head of the state Senate. Tennessee passed bills earlier this year banning transgender children from receiving gender-affirming care and outlawing drag performers from many public spaces. But on Instagram, McNally takes a more encouraging tone towards at least one LGBTQ youth, leaving heart emojis and other compliments on raunchy photos of an aspiring 20-year-old Tennessee performer, including one close-up shot of the man's butt. Okay? And it's, it's not TOS, but, like, it's almost TOS. You know what I mean? I'm, like, kind of worried showing it. But McNally's Instagram comments, which were first reported by digital news site The Tennessee Holler, were left on the page of Knoxville native Franklin McClure. In November, for example, McClure posted an entirely nude picture that only narrowly showing his penis. Great picture, Finn, McNally commented, referencing McClure's nickname. 
Best wishes for the continued health and happiness. He said, under this photo, Lieutenant Governor McNally, on his, like, actual account, on his, like, literally official account, said, Finn, you can turn a rainy day into rainbows and sunshine. He also posted three hearts and three fire emojis. To be fair, seems like Finn or McClure is pretty McCaked up, if you know what I'm saying. McNally responded to a picture of McClure wearing skimpy underwear in September with the heart emojis adding, love it, love it. In January, McNally posted heart emojis on a picture of McClure that almost exposed his genitals. That same month, McClure posted a close-up picture of his butt covered only in underwear. McNally wrote, Finn, you can only turn, you can turn a rain, Finn, you can turn a rainy day into rainbows and sunshine. McNally also commented on McClure's videos. In December 2022 video, McClure suggestively wiggled his tongue while singing. McNally responded with hearts and flame emojis, adding, very good. In a statement to the Daily Beast, McNally spokesman Adam Kleinheider insisted that McNally is just a prolific social media commenter who has no intention of stopping his post. He said, you will not stop me, sirs and madams. Let me tell you what. You will not stop me, sirs and madams. I see something nice. I like it. He's like me, dude. You know, like, my justification is, like, uh, it, when you guys make fun of me for liking, uh, you know, sex workers' posts on fucking Instagram and Twitter, and you're like, who's throwing your horny on man? I'm like, look, man, if I see something I like, I'm going to like it, and you can't stop me. Trying to imply something sinister or inappropriate about a great-grandfather's use of social media says more about the mind of the left-wing operative making the implication than it does about Randy McNally. I like that these guys are basically like, these guys are basically like, you know, it's, it's like, we'll make this illegal, but if it makes me horny, I'm going to continue openly being horny about it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to be openly horned up. This is uh, another great one, by the way. I suspect the holler folks will be running an update since Gramps was all over the place, but my personal favorite is when he calls a trans woman who's posting from a cabaret drag show super beautiful. I mean, she is. But also, like, they're trying to ban this shit. It wasn't an intern. Why not just lie? That's the funniest part, that he just, like, owned up to it and said, like, you know, I have to do it. I'll die if I don't do it. No, 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 no. Guys, there's an update to it. Spoiler alert. I didn't want to give it away yet, but, you know, we're going to talk about it in a second. Um, oh, here's the, here's the update, actually. Trying to imply something sinister about a great-grandfather's use of social media says more about the mind of the left-wing pervert operatives making the implication than it does about Randy McNally. The statement read, as anyone in Tennessee politics knows, Governor McNally is a prolific social media commenter. He takes great pains to view every post he can and frequently posts encouraging things to many of his followers. Yeah, encouraging them to do more, I guess, drag uh, burlesque shows or cabaret shows, which is fine. I, I think that that's great and wonderful and people should do that. It's just weird that... It's just weird that he's, like, also simultaneously, like, you know, advocating for uh, anti-LGBT legislation. Does he always use the proper emoji at the proper time? Maybe not, but he enjoys interacting with constituents and Tennesseans of all religions, backgrounds, orientations on social media, and he has no intentions of stopping. As for other examples of McNally's prolific social media use, Kleinheider didn't respond. McNally's interest in McClure extends beyond the young man's own Instagram account. He follows a fan page that posts edited pictures of McClure, including one with a background declaring him a bad bitch. McClure might make for an unusual Instagram friend for the first person in line for the governor's mansion. 
At one point, according to his Instagram post, McClure's profile on the site included the message, I am a hoe. I'm the one that gets free weed for giving head, McClure wrote in his profile. And Lieutenant Governor McNally said, I hope you do. To not that, of course. This is Franklin Superstar. I want to find my home. I'm all alone. And Lieutenant Governor McNally says, I hope you do. McClure told the Tennessee Holler that he's never met the Lieutenant Governor, but that they've been online friends since 2020 in a series of Instagram direct messages. McClure told the Daily Beast he thinks McNally follows him because he enjoys who I am. I hope he can extend that kindness by trying to make sure no bills are passed to hurt anyone like me. Well, McClure, uh, I don't know how you could be a gay man in Tennessee and not realize that, like, you know, bills are being passed my friend, which is wild. It's like being a woman in Tennessee and be like, I sure hope that abortion laws are, this is, <laughs> sure hope abortion is not criminalized anytime soon. You know what I mean? <laughs> like in 2023. So McNally was attempting the killing with them with kindness approach. Yeah. Um, for the record, <coughs> <clears throat> uh, yeah, some of the other things that they could have said for defense would have been, no, 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 you guys don't get it. The heart and fire means I'm saying I have love in my heart for these gays who are definitely going to hell. He could have said that. He could have said an intern took over my account. He could have said my grandparents like, I mean, my grandchildren like to play a prank on me. He could have gone with the classic, I was on ambient defense, you know. And he just straight up came out of the gates and said, no, dog, I love all my constituents, especially the twinks. He didn't even say I got hacked. You don't understand the level of bravery it takes to send a young twink in need of a thinking of you today, Finn. You're a rockin' superstar in between sessions of theorizing with his conservative buddies how to forcibly detransition people so they don't have to waste bullets. Yeah, exactly. I mean, shit, he could have just said it's all fake and deny reality. Yeah, that's what's mind-boggling to me about this story. It's not surprising to me that, like, anti-LGBT uh, legislators are, like, you know, uh, secretly captivated by bussy and secretly captivated by femboys, all this shit, right? What's shocking to me is that he openly, openly was like, yeah, I love drag performers and the gays who I also want uh, to kill and, uh, you know, make illegal to exist. Uh, but I love them. It won't stop me from thirsting after them on Instagram. Anyway. Sociopathic behavior, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, he's a fucking... He is a psychopathic right-wing uh, politician in Tennessee, of course. Yeah, he's out here He's out here liking those posts. Like, if he didn't like them, he'd be gay. You know what I mean? And this is the only way that he can stop himself from catching the gay virus. Like, it's like his lifeline. It's like his fucking uh, life raft. You know what I mean? He's like, I have to lock him. But yeah, absolutely insane story.